Hey, do you wanna record your Tesla screen or your info system like this? Let me show you how you can do it. Hey everyone, we are back with another video and this time we're gonna make a video about how you can record your Tesla screen. Yes, that's correct, but you need a modded screen for that. And Adam Urban from X can help you with that. So you have to reach with Adam, I'll leave his information in the description and you can get the latest pricing on this. So I need some tool to do this modification in my car, so I have to remove my existing display and put it my modified display in my car. So let's see what what kind of tools we need to do this kind of thing. So for this one, you definitely need that modified screen from Adam. As you can see, here is a module that we can connect our HDMI port. So we need a flat screwdriver, we need a Torque T30, we need a 10 millimeter socket, we need a capture card, and we need a HDMI cable. So here we are in the car right now. I know my camera angle is different because I wanna show you the main thing, how we're gonna do it. So you need a flat screwdriver, as you can see in this camera right over here there is a port and we can just pull that up and so let's do it I don't know if you can see it perfectly but it is a little hard but it's not that hard so it's very easy to pull that up I did it a few times that's why my one is a little loose so um, you can do it easily too and then what you have to do you have to pull this cable up, this one, right? So you have to push from here, as you can see, and then if you pull it up, this is a, a sensor the car has to remove this monitor. You have to definitely pull this up. So let's do it. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but I removed that sensor, and now it is separated from the cable, right? So now the second step will be you need a socket 10 millimeter to unscrew these two screws. So one here, right over here, it's so hard to see you. This one and this one, right? This two we need to unscrew with a 10 millimeter socket. I tell you that for modified your display, you need to order another display either from Tesla or from eBay. I ordered my one from eBay because eBay is much cheaper and you can get an old one but you have to definitely match the display model with your car so please reach out to Adam the link is in the description and you can message him and he will tell you which model you should order for your car also if you think this video is helpful for you please subscribe to my channel and now you need a towel to keep your display after you remove that from the position it has so what do you can do you can pull and wiggle a little bit so that the display just comes out as you can see my left side is already up and now I pull a little harder and it just come out and now if you want to remove that black cable you need to remove this plastic frame from the screen so you have to use the T30 driver to remove this frame from that screen so let's do it guys I almost thought like I can remove that uh, cable without removing it but I don't want to take any risk are you a Tesla FSD beta tester? Stop scrolling. The FSD beta bumper magnet is a must have. This sleek durable magnet clearly signals that your Tesla is in self-driving mode. It's easy to apply, easy to remove and the perfect accessories for embracing the future of autonomous driving. Don't miss out. Grab yours on Amazon today. So let me just show you which two screw I'm talking about. This one and all the way this one. So now you're seeing this purple plug that you have to pinch and pull. You can wiggle a little bit, but not too much. So you have to pull, like push here in this pin and then you pull out the whole cable and then it's separated. So this is what I'm gonna do. So as you guys can see, I just pull out this one from this and you just have to press here, right here in the plug. So right over here, you have to press and pull. So press and pull. So this is where you are gonna push and pull. So that's the plug. So let's install the new one. So 
So you just have to align that and push it. That's it. Yep. And you will hear the noise of plugging in. And now you have to keep this one inside from this loop so you can then plug it inside later the screen is back as you can see so this is the hardest part it took me probably 20 minutes you had to press the screw a little harder so that it gets in at certain point i had to completely disassemble the display and i had to mount it one more time and then i pressed that screw a little hard so that it gets in and then i use the 10 millimeter socket to tighten it up Watching my Tesla navigate these roads is a lot like watching this channel. It's always trying to improve, but sometimes it's a bit unpredictable. So why not stick around and see what it does next? Hit that subscribe button now. Like this, done. So now one more thing you have to do. You have to connect your HDMI cable to this capture card with an Android tablet or an Android phone. So I prefer a USB-C to USB HDMI capture card because most of the phone or tablet right now comes with USB-C port. So this is what we're gonna capture with. So now with any Android tablet or any Android phone, what you have to do is connect your USB capture card connected to your phone or tablet. If you have USB-C, that'll be amazing. As you can see, I'm connecting it to my phone and then have to open the app. The app link is in the description too, so you can download it. I purchased two apps and I prefer the link I give you in the description. It works the best. And now also now you have have to connect the HDMI cable to that modified display it is in the bottom so I'm just gonna connect it in that HDMI port and the other end will connect to my phone's capture card so then you will see that coming in my phone and now you can hit record that'll be amazing guys so let me know in the comment what you think about this now I'm connecting it to my phone's capture card as you can see and the display should come you can see that the display immediately comes up so you can just hit record and do whatever you want you can also take pictures very good everything is working if I change it in my screen it just changed in the phone too Thank you for watching guys. Let me know in the comment. You can join my Discord channel for more help. If you need any information, anything you want to know from me, please join my Discord channel and ask me there. I'll be always available to answer your question. Thank you so much. And if you really think this is helpful, please subscribe to my channel, guys. I'm just like 3,529 subscribers now. My goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers. Please subscribe and have a wonderful, wonderful day.